Hey everyone, I'm Heather the Blonde. I'm I'm Bob the Veteran. I forgot who I was there for a second. <laughs> He's all here, we promise. So today we're gonna try for you menu number nine, and it is beef stew. It is also from Amazon, and I promised I would try a meat product for you guys today. I am a vegetarian if you missed the first video. So today you're going to see if I can stomach this. He is the veteran. He's going to see if this tastes anything close to what he's used to eating. His favorite was turkey loaf. We forgot the can this time, but it looks really disgusting, and that was his favorite. Hopefully he likes this better than the vegetarian meal we tried last time. If you haven't seen that video, you have to check it out. His face expressions are priceless. Hopefully mine will be just as good this time. So we're going to open this up and give it a go and see what comes in it. I'm very excited. So we're going to crack it open. We again do not have crazy knives, so we're using some oh, scissors. They do come in pretty easy peels. I'm just not going to try. All right, so as you guys can see, today we have a better view. We have our plate showing. One day we'll have trays, not right now. So again, it comes in this nifty packaging. It's pretty easy sealed. I was just talking to Bobby about his experience with C-rations. They weren't MREs back then. And he was explaining that they didn't actually carry them to go, which is kind of crazy. He said they would go all night with no food, and then you just go back in the morning, and then you could just pick up your meal. He said occasionally they may load a truck, and the truck may have a whole bunch, and you can just go pick what you want to eat. He, again, was only turkey loaf. He would fight for that. We're having ragu de boeuf. Whatever that is. What is ragu de boeuf? I think it's being French. French? For beef stew. Oh. It's going to be interesting, I think. Ragu de boeuf. So this time I promised Bobby I would not let him kill himself with any chemicals. So today, hopefully, he handles this very, very well. We're not pulling not, anything out. Not touching that. Again, it comes with a nifty sleeve, so it's like you stick it together. We're going to do it correctly this time by sticking them together. We didn't do that last time. So we're going to set this aside, and then we will kind of split up what we got, and we'll talk about what we're seeing right now. I see different snacks. I'm so excited. So we'll let him introduce our first one. Pretzel sticks. Very nutritious yeah. pretzel sticks. I really like pretzels. Kind of better than peanuts. I'm really excited to see some pretzel sticks. Pretzel sticks. And it looks like on my side, I have some like multi-grain snack bread. I think that's going to be interesting. It's kind of like, it feels like a cookie, but we're going to see if we get something to put on it. A TFF fudge brownie. That looks like a yummy dessert, a brownie. Fudge brownie. It's going to be huge. We got peanut butter again. I told him I was hoping for jelly, but the peanut butter was was really delicious. Kind of hoping it might be the same one. It does say it's from Georgia, so this probably goes with the bread. So we'll try the bread and the peanut butter together. And then, oh, this thing came with like a crazy juice. Last time it was like a tiny little, you dump it with water. This is a huge bag and it's grape. Last time it was cranberry grape. And they also gave us this like baggy i guess we mix it in here we're just gonna do the cups like last time it worked really well plus we're not going to take it to go so we'll do our juice in a minute when we prep our hot food where's, the, we'll see. where's the ragu de boeuf Ooh. is that the ragu ah, de boeuf that thing is it's dense kind of feels like dog food but <laughs> it'll probably look like it too i think it's the ragu de boeuf there's going to be the beef stew. I'm going to try some, even if it's meat, just for you guys. Like and subscribe and recommend other random products for me. Okay, so I am so excited. They totally gave us jelly. I have been wanting to try jelly. I am like a jam fan. And this one's actually blackberry. I'm kind of curious. That sounds really good. I don't think I've ever had blackberry. You have peach, apricot. This is a multi-grain snack bread. There's the bread. So it no looks crackers. like they gave us peanut butter and jam that we can try the bread with now. So that'll be really yummy. Last time we had peanut butter. What, what are we doing first? And then they also gave us 
like a pepper sauce, I guess, to make it hotter. I may try that. He will not do the spicy. Depending on how bad this beef stew is, I'll be loading it up with this. All right, so we'll prep the hot food while we finish opening. Yeah, Looks like the there. condiments. Um, so we'll see. We are going to start with the nifty baggie. Let's see, tear it open. Okay, so we got it open, yay. And then we have our bottled water. We did not have to purify this, luckily. That would take forever. So we're going to pour the water in here. It says don't overfill. Truthfully, I think I did last time. Might be slightly, but it's pretty, it's pretty close. So I'm gonna stick it in. I didn't do this last time. I was kind of scared. All right, I'll fold it over. And then we're gonna use the nifty sleeve. It's kind of like a hot pocket. All right. Okay, so we have it all set up in its nifty sleeve. They say to keep it upright because you don't want it to spill. So I'm going to keep that upright, let you guys kind of see it while it's working its magic. We'll prep our juice so we have something to drink. Last time the peanut butter was really thick. You kind of needed the juice to break it up. So this thing says it's like a, looks like it's going to be like a Gatorade. A, mm, a carbohydrate electrolyte. But great, that sounds yummy. I was really hoping for like a mango pineapple. Oh, well, look at this. We have coffee, instant, and a creamer. Oh, now that's neat. So you got coffee. Last time it came with an awesome vanilla cappuccino. Sugar. And it was so good. We both had it. And I'm a creamer and sugar person with my coffee. He likes it straight black. He was able to drink it, and he actually liked it. We're on a mission to find it right now. I did like it. So this one's really crazy. It says it's grape, but watch the color that'll be in the cup. Like, that is so blue. Like, that's going to be in. That's grape. That's blue. But we're going to see. We're going to add the water. It's really strong smell, too, like acid. It's going to be interesting. All right, so we're going to open our water. And we're going to pour it in, see if maybe this thing turns purple magically. What color? Oh, what? it totally kind of did change. Look at that. Ooh. That's really crazy. All right, stir that one. Now, what is this? This one's supposed to be grape. Grape? It does not look like grape. So we'll see. Mine didn't turn out as dark. That's kind of cool. It's a pretty color blue. I love that color. Thank you. I might just stir a lot. Great. It seriously looks like blue raspberry. I am so curious right now. This is really going to be great. All right. So as we're stirring it up, it's definitely gritty. I think that's why they probably make you shake it. Tastes like Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid, all right. I think electrolytes are in Kool-Aid. That's not bad. All right. So let's see if we taste great. It's like, it's like funky. I don't know. It's not as good as the last one we tried. You like that? It's it's different. Oh, it's kind of like he said Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid. It's very What's bland. in that? Uh, this one is the hot sauce. Hot sauce. It's the Louisiana hot sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm not shocked. Okay, so we're going to start our snacks while... Peanut butter? Our dinner is cooking. Or blackberry jam. Yeah, we're going to try both of those. And we're going to try them on our piece of bread. A multi-grain bread. We're going to see what this looks like. I'm really curious, bread in a package, what do you think it's going to look like? Do you think it's going to look like a loaf? What do you think? I, I have no clue. Did you guys have bread ever out there? I don't think so, but I, you know, I, I don't remember what I did yesterday, so <laughs> I, oh, it just... Uh, okay, it totally is like a little funky loaf. Like, look at this little piece of bread. It has like holes it's very, very, it's kind of thick, but it's dense. Like, if you can feel it, it's like right, what hard. What are we, we going to do? All right, so we're going to split it. Do and one then, with one? Yeah, we're going to try some of each. Mm. I'm going to kind of break it up into pieces. You can't really see my plate, I guess. Here, let's kind of remove mm. these around. All right, so you can see my plate. We're going to try some peanut jelly butter. and peanut butter. All right, so this one is like the last one we tried. We didn't really need it, though, first. And here's blackberry jam. Okay, so we are going to try some of uh, the peanut butter. 
which it looks like the same peanut butter. I don't know if this one might be creamy or chunky. The last one was chunky. And then this is some of the jelly. Oh, the jelly looks really good. I don't know if I can show you guys without maybe spilling it everywhere. Can you see, like, how yummy that looks? It's, like, shiny and gooey. I think it's going to be really good. We're excited. That isn't bad. Hmm. It totally tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's not mold, is it? Mm-mm. It's a multi-grain. <laughs> the bread has, like, grains in it, so it has, like, little colorful kind of things. I don't know about it. He's afraid of mold. <laughs> I would be, too. I thought it looked like mold. <laughs> it's just really, really dense bread. It almost, with one piece... It feels like you just took a whole bite of a sandwich. Like two pieces of bread, with peanut butter, and jelly. The jelly is really good, though. Try the jelly. Mmm. I like that. You sure that's not more? I'm positive. Do you want me to eat it? No. I'm going to pick you one. I will eat it for you. No. Just to prove to you. I'll kind of get close. <laughs> And this is Blackberry. Normally, I'm the scared one to eat something, and it's totally funny that it's him right now. All right, I'm trying to little more. This peanut butter, though, really it's really good. I think it good. is. I think it is creamy. It's really good. No, anyway, it just says peanut butter. It doesn't say this time if it's crunchy or not. But yeah, the peanut and jelly, it's so good. It's like you ate a sandwich, so it'd be perfect for a snack. I would eat it. It's perfect for a vegetarian. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I think oh, that there's a yes. Look at his piece. Green part there that. <laughs> <laughs> I will eat it if he does. Went that. bad a little while ago. <laughs> okay, next one. We're gonna try some of these pretzel sticks. I like pretzels. Yeah, what, do you, what, do you, what do you do with pretzels? I'm like really sticky again. All these foods are messy. You can put the peanut butter on the pretzels. Pretzel, my dear. Oh, yes. Please, thank you. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. All right, so you can see. Oh, wait, here's a mystery pack. <laughs> There's the. That keeps it fresh, apparently. And it tells you not to eat it. Do not eat. Don't do it. Kids, please. It's not fun. So these are little pretzel bites. They're like itty bitty little pretzel bites. They're so cute. That's like perfect. Mm -hmm. Not bad. No, they're really good. The one thing I think I wish with a bag is they made the bag like resealable. Sometimes they give you one that you like. It'd be cool to bring these with you. Finish them later. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have that though. But yeah, they're like perfect bite size. Hmm. They would be good with the peanut butter. Not bad. Yeah, we'll have to try coffee later. Again. Oops. Napkins. A little handy dandy. Tell them about the matches. OMG, this one gives you matches. Read it. Read it. We didn't get matches last time. That's really cool. Alright, so it says, These matches are designed especially for damp climates. They will... But they will not light when wet or after long exposure several weeks to very damp air. But dang, these things can last in a damp climate. Just don't soak them underwater. That's like wicked. And look at that. They are pink. If anyone knows me, I love pink. Look how cute they are. So excited. I don't really use matches. I have a lighter. But these are so cute. I might use one. That's nifty. I can't remember if sea rations had match. I suppose they did. I don't they remember. They had cigarettes, but I, I don't. They gave us cigarettes. I don't right. remember. And then they gave us again gum, which would be nice for after. A moist toilet, which we'll need for all this peanut butter. I'm sticky already. Again, they gave you salt. And this is like hardcore, like hardcore salt. I doubt we'll need it. I, I think these foods come like seasoned enough. So we'll leave our toilets for later. And then we're going to see how this thing is oven, coming dude. along. Now that's cool. So this little packet does kind of have stuff written on it. And it says, 
each MRE provides like an average of how many calories you have and it's broken down with protein, fat, carbohydrates, and then they tell you what they're giving you for each piece. Like your protein is your meat, your cheese, peanut butter, mango cheese. And then your carbs are the dessert, the fruit, candy, or crackers. And then the fat or your peanut butter. I mean, like, that's pretty neat. Let me break down some. It's starting to heat up. It doesn't seem, like, as warm as it was last time. But it is kind of doing its magic in here and it's doing its thing. We might try it soon and it might not be as, like, hot. We'll see. <coughs> They're already, I think, cooked ones before to make them ready. But we'll set this little bad boy up again. I think I want to try a little more of the jelly. We've got to heat up our debouf. This jelly that was to die for. It's blackberry. Like, watch how yummy that color is. Like, oh, it looks so good. I'm really a jelly person. Ah, look at the mold on that one. It's wet. I dropped my juice. Oh. That was not mold. I dropped my blue juice onto my bread. He is now freaking out over the mold part. I can't mold. This is for the coffee, right? Oh, no, okay, yeah, it does say hot beverage bag. Hot beverage bag. Well, right now it's like, no, it's getting hot. Now. So this thing has like eight grams of fat in it, twenty grams of protein. That's awesome. That's like more than tuna. We're going to have to try a tuna one one day for you guys. I do eat tuna. I will eat fish products. Do they have fish products when you go to pick food? No. No? Okay, so we're going to try this and see. We'll just go for it. It can't be that bad if it's not as, as, as hot. Hopefully it's a little better. I've got to have hot laboof. <laughs> hot laboof. Is it hot? It's like... Holy one. I think they make them look like they get hotter than they really Have do. You, did you read the instructions? They've got uh -huh. instructions here. Yeah. That's how we did it. We added the water in. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, definitely you can feel these weird chemically leaves that you can kind of see them they're like these lines but i mean they feel like they're getting warmer but yeah i don't know maybe it's supposed to be more like tilted tilted and also upright i didn't fully read the instructions but yeah i'm kind of interested to see curious if it's gonna have like carrots potatoes I and mean, that's what i would expect in beef stew he literally likes beef beef stew Jaffrey, New Hampshire, made the matches. Hey, New Hampshire. All right, that's it. Where in the world is Jaffrey, New Hampshire? I will say it's so much easier just having a microwave or an oven. He's in these bags. It's definitely different. Okay. So we're going to try it. It's not, like, super hot yet. But this video would probably be like an hour long if we waited for it to heat up forever. So we're going to go for it and try it. I am down to dry cold. It's fine. It's not like it's frozen. It has been sitting in a lukewarm, normal temperature room. That's what it recommends on the bag. All right. So we're going to open this bad boy up. This is totally a meat product. I am so scared, y'all, because I do not eat meat. I'm he made eat. the best faces last time. See... It totally looks like talk food. I'm not he, eating that either. He made fun of my vegetarian meal, saying that it looked pre-chewed. His looks pre-chewed, too. But it is totally like a beef stew. You can see, like, a noodle or, or a potato, some carrots, meat chunks that look kind of like my dog's food. Um, it's going to be interesting. You know, I didn't see another spoon this time. I made a joke saying we'll get our own. But Go ahead. Dig in. Well, I'm going to be stuck eating this first. He's oh, going yeah. to eat it, though. But look at this chunk. It totally is like a little pre-cut square. It looks like what I feed my dog. It's going to be really interesting. Go ahead. I promise to try everything for you guys. Have it. He's going to eat some, too. I don't regard want. Too bad. This one is for him. No. So we're going to scoop and sh or shovel it onto his plate. 
And then, this is a meat product. He is going to eat it for you guys. Because I'm going to eat it for you too. So, we're going to move on with this all Alright, so I'm going to try it first. Go ahead. Because he looks scared. Dig in. It's, get that big chunky one there. Of course, I get the big chunk. Look at this chunk. Oh, boy. That's the face he made last time. He was not excited. I told him, I'm going to make that face this time. Oh. Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, numbers, huh? This is oh, different. You probably want some more, huh? Hmm. It tastes like. What's that <laughs> stuff you like? Denny Moore's? It tastes like Denny Moore's. Usually I pick around some of the meat products. I like the carrots in there. But it's not like that bad. It's not hot. I, it's not cooked like long, long. But the potatoes are cute little bites. I am totally down to eat the potatoes and I'm those yummy carrots. Mmm. It doesn't taste like it. Well, it wasn't bad, I guess. You got crackers. He prefers crackers when he eats certain things like this. Okay, so it's not that bad. I don't like the texture of meat though. It kind of has a texture like shredded beef. Like it starts separating. I don't like shredded That's beef. That's not bad. That's not bad. Look, here's another piece for you guys. I promise. Vegetarian. I'm eating beef stew right now. It is MRE number nine. Menu number nine. There's peas too. I'm not a pea person. Mm. Imagine if this would have been hot. <laughs> to put you in microwaves. <laughs> yes. Mm. Microwave it first. Not a fan of meat. That ain't bad. It's real. Ugh. Make the faces he made last time. He gave it the look like, what is that? It was All the stuff that comes with it, though, is really good. It's seasoned really well. I normally like a lot of pepper. I debated a minute adding pepper, but it totally has pepper. It's really good. I'm going to try the hot sauce, though. He won't try it. I will try it because I love hot sauce. I should have put it on the meat if I would have made the meat better. I'm going to put it on my moldy bread. <laughs> it's not moldy. It's a grain. It's a grain. If you're just catching in, be determined it's a grain. Okay, so this thing was like hard to open. I'm guessing it's going to be liquidy like the last one I had, even though the last one was super good. It was chili lime. This one's called pepper sauce made with Tabasco. Oh, wow. It's like yellow. I'll get a close-up in a sec to show you on a piece of meat. Mmm, that's really hot. What do you think? Well, if it was warm, it'd probably be pretty good. Cold, it wasn't that all that hot. That pepper sauce is really hot. It almost tastes like like pepper cheese pepper. I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna try to get a close up so you guys can see like how yellow the sauce is. All right, so like watch how yellow it's possible. Like, did you see how yellow you? It's like really yellow. Is that really hot? That was too much on oh, a piece of meat. Is it really too hot? Mm hmm. I want to try some. It's really, really hot. I'm living on the edge here. <laughs> you don't want to try it hot. It says no. it's made with vinegar. So you can just picture vinegar. That's wanna, what hits your tongue. You don't want to put a little splooge on that? I don't want to kill him. Next week, we're going to try pizza. Pizza. He can't die before we try pizza. They did not have pizza back in his day. He hasn't even seen half this food. His stuff didn't even come with. So, yeah, we're not going to kill him yet. And then there's xanthan gum. I don't know about that one. It's really hot. I like spicy. And whew. We had pizza, just not in Southeast Asia. When we <laughs> got home, we had pizza. There you go. That's the best time to have it. All right, so I'm going to try one more little bite with some meat for you guys. So you secretly like that. Um, not the meat part. It's like roast beef. Mmm. Overall, though, it wasn't, like, god-awful. I'm not going to turn into a meat eater now, though, by any means. Sorry. But it wasn't that bad. What's up? All right. The last thing we have is our delicious brownie. No, we but got... But it's going to, like, wash down this grossness. We got coffee. You, you got coffee? Are you going to make the coffee? 
I was lazy again. I did not prepare hot water for you guys. One day I will, I promise. Just, I, yeah. Okay, so this is the brownie. Again, it comes with some lovely do not eat <laughs> stuck to it. You can see it's the nice little chemical part that keeps it fresh forever. We're going to peel that off. We don't want to eat it. Don't eat this. This thing is dense as hell. Like, I think it probably weighs a lot. It's going to be thick and chewy. Like, yeah, we're going to break it in half and then he can see how it's like really thick. I don't know. Also, for you guys, I do not like chocolate. I'm not a chocolate person. How can you not like chocolate? This is so much chocolate. This was not my type of meal besides the jam. They sold me with the peanut butter and jelly. You gotta try it. I just ate. It's not moldy. After you, you have a stronger immune system. I do have that. I Is that mold? It. Shut up! It, what do you see? You see lighting. Look at it. It's the shimmer. He's seeing things. He's going colorblind, I'm thinking, now. That's not mold. He's already deaf. <laughs> no. Huh? <laughs> Completely. Hmm. It's like really dense. You need milk for this one. You need something strong to take it down and off. Mm. I can't swallow it. <laughs> I will go now. He made the joke last time that you can totally like use the bar for like to fix a boot. <laughs> yeah. I think this one would be the same. This would do the same. Yeah, this one would solve it his is, problem. It's not all that bad. It's a different chocolate. Mm, I don't know. It kind of tastes like one of those protein bars you'd get. It's like chocolate, but so it tastes different. Chocolate. Um. Overall, I agree. It was not bad. Um. So we decided that we are going to do a rating on them. We didn't in our first video. So we're going to give an overall, real true perspective of what we thought of the meal. If you were going to try it. We're not sugarcoating it, but I would say it wasn't that bad for being a meat product. I'm going to give it a four. I like the pretzels. I like the peanut butter and jelly. Four, four out of five? Yeah, we're going to do out of five. What do you think as the meat eater? Was it better than the vegetarian meal? Oh, yeah, much but Yeah, it was It was a four out of, oh, this is nice little wetty. That feels so good because seriously, their meals are really messy. The peanut butter is sticky and the jelly was sticky. I thought the bread was really cool. I've never seen bread that comes in a package. It was different. It literally just feels like they took two pieces of bread and smushed them together, and it's very condensed. But it was delicious with peanut butter and jelly. Uh, but I actually liked everything. Next week, we're going to be trying a pepperoni and cheese pizza, which will be cool because I think we cook it in this funky bag also. I don't know. It's going to be fun. We're going to try. And then we hope you enjoyed our video. 